In this tutorial, we are going to insert player starts for CT side and T side, as well as create buy zones for each team. So first, let's cover the player starts. To insert player starts, you need about 10 player starts for CT side and for T side. To do that, we can use the entity tool. Once enabled, on the right hand side, under objects, we have info player terrorist, and also we have, if we scroll up a bit, Info player counter terrorist. So let's select info player counter terrorist first and left clicking we can start placing as many of player starts as we need. If we need to we can go into top view and using the selection tool select each player model click a few times until you get the rotation handles and rotate to make the model face where the player will look when they spawn. Another important factor to consider is if we go into side view you need to raise each player start off the ground so it doesn't get stuck into the ground when you spawn this is very important and we need to do that for each player model so I'm going to select all of the place models and just raise them up so they're off the ground and then we can rotate them all together you also want to space each player model about 128 units away from each other so they don't stack on top of one another. So you want to give them enough space so they can spawn. Once you've placed about 10 player spawns uh, we need to do the same thing for T side. So let's go all the way on the other side enable the entity tool use the drop down menu and select info player terrorist. Let's place one and go into the top view. You can press Ctrl E to center your selection in the orthographic viewport and let's rotate it. Make the spawn face where the player want, will be looking at and let's go into the side view, raise it up and then we can simply hold down shift, drag and duplicate the info player terrorist around our map. Another way you can insert player spawns is to use function instance. This references an outside file that has been provided by Valve. So if we use the entity tool, let's go over here and under objects type in function instance. Let's select it and place it. So by left clicking we have placed the function instance entity. We need to use the selection tool to double click and define the VMF file that it's going to reference. So select the VMF file and then click on browse and then inside SDK content maps folder let's go into instances and here we have spawn CT and spawn T. So let's select spawn T click open and click apply. Here this will place five T spawns into your map, they've already been rotated, they've been positioned, and they've been raised off the ground. What we need to do is make sure that the function instance is on the floor itself. So let's select it, Control E to center, and then let's just drag it down until it's on the floor. And then if we take a look at a little closer, we can see that it's already automatically been raised for us. So the player spawns will not get stuck once you spawn. And then what you would do is simply select, go in the top view, and you duplicate function instance over to the side. Now we have 10, and we have 15 player spawns, so it's a really quick and simple way to populate your map. And then we can do the same thing for CT side on the other side. So I'm going to use the function instance. I'm going to just select all of these and delete them, and just simply move the function instances uh, closer to this wall. And then I'm going to duplicate and do the same thing for CT side. So here I'm going to delete the last one, select these two, go to top view, move them closer to this wall, rotate them, and then while having them selected, shift, left click, drag, and duplicate it over to the CT side. Let's rotate it. Let's quickly go on to the other side, let's delete the individually placed CT models and then we need to go inside the properties and make sure we switch it to spawn CT.
and here we are we have 10 quickly placed player spawns for each side. Next let's create buy zones for each team. To do that we need to create a brush and then tie that brush to an entity called function buy zone. To do that let's select the block tool, let's go into top view and let's surround our CT side using this brush. So let's create a template of the brush here. Let's go in the side view. Let's move this brush up so it's touching the ground and raise it up above the players heads. In the perspective viewport this is what it looks like. Now once we are happy with the selection click enter. Right now we have the default texture applied. We need to change this default texture to a trigger texture. So let's use the toggle texture application. Let's go to browse and we need to filter trigger. Select this trigger texture, double click and then hold down shift and right click to apply to every single face of the brush. So we have a trigger texture on every single face on that brush. Let's close it. The trigger texture will be invisible in game. Next we need to tie this brush to an entity. Right now this is a solid object. To tie it to an entity we need to select it, press Control T or go to tools and choose tie to entity. Once we do that we need to change the object properties for this brush to function by zone. Click apply. Then we need to select team number and use the drop down menu and define for which side we want to use this by zone for. In this case it's counter terrorist. Click apply. Now that we have one created we can do the same thing for the other side but instead of doing that I'm simply going to duplicate shift drag for the T side go all the way over there and just double click and change the team number to the terrorist side and click apply so at this point this is it if we go in the game we're able to buy weapons inside each buy zone for each team let's choose CT side and if we go into buy zone, we're able to buy our weapons.